Hello, friends. We are here today to read Pig the Slob by New York Times bestselling author Aaron Blobby. Okay, guys. Who, oh, oh, what in the world is going on? Oh, no. Our friend Pote has escaped. Hi, Pote. Do you want to say hi to our friends? Hello. My name is Pote. Yeah. Do you want to read the book with us? Okay, buddy. We need you to get off the book so we can read it. Oh. Excuse me. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Okay. See you. See you in a bit. All right. Where were we? Oh, yes. Pig the slob. What? Seems like he ordered some home delivery for Pig and Trevor. Oh, no, not Trevor. With extra large milk chick and nuggets. Oh, my goodness. This definitely is a slob. With no tip. Hmm. It's not very nice, Pig. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was shockingly lazy. Such a shameful display. Lazy, lazy, lazy. He won't even get up to go for a walk. He lived in a flat, horizontal position, which left him in truly appalling condition. What in the world? He's just laying down on the sofa eating some very cheesy pizza and eating what candy buttons uh, this is not looking very good guys full of candy and soda and thick mozzarella pig was a hardcore full-time sofa dweller just wanted to stay on the sofa all day all night not very good for you, pig. His only exertion was swiping a screen. Swipe? Stare? Repeat was his grueling routine. Sure, once in a while, he would lift a remote. Uh, but it made him quite tired and his ankles would bloat. That's because... He is not moving much. He's just on the sofa, eating and eating. Flat on his back, he'd relax with a sigh, binging on TV and nuggets and pie. He's watching the real dogs of Beverly Hills. What? Oh, he's eating again? Oh, no. Not very healthy. A bucket of chicken? Jumbo pop and a hot dog somewhere here in the sofa and that looks gross. That just looks really yuck. Pig dog in deep. He was part of the couch. An immovable lump in a warm, sticky pouch. Trevor was worried. Pig's health was at risk. We should take a quick jog or a walk, nice and brisk. See, Trevor wants to be active and healthy, but no. What? Look at this guy. Pig steered from his stupor. His reply was quite tart. He simply said, no. And then unleashed a fart. That fart must be so stinky. Look at all the food he's been eating, guys. You better cover your noses before you faint. Oh, no. We would have so much fun, though, said Trevor once more. It was a suggestion Pig chose to ignore. Lap. No. He kicked it with his foot and slapped poor Trevor. That's not very nice, Pig. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Trevor is trying to be a good friend. From a bunker of sloth, with no sense of shame, 
pig return to his ice cream on video game. This is not very good for you, pig. You will soon realize. And that's when they heard it. Trevor stopped in his tracks. What's groaning? asked pig. Through a mouthful of snacks. Look at all the food he's got in his mouth. He can't even talk. The first groan was subtle. The next one was not. The floorboards were groaning. Yes, groaning a lot. Could that be my tummy? asked Pig, blinking slow. You know, Pig, I'm sure it's not your tummy. I'm sure your tummy is pretty full and it is definitely not groaning. Then the floorboards exploded. Every look at look at Trevor. Look at all the food just flying everywhere, guys. No, no, pig broke the sofa and the floor. Told you this was not gonna end very good. Hey, watch out below! Pig is falling through the ceiling of the people that live underneath them. Look, they're terrified. Pig is about to fall on top of them with all the yackiness of food. Oh, no. Well, these days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig makes an effort to come out and play. He's up off the couch doing cartwheels and squats. He practices yoga and goes jogging a lot. His workouts are great, but the part he likes best is when he gets home. He can have a nice rest. <laughs> what is he doing now? He's trying to eat a whole chicken. Oh. Trevor is very worried. Maybe Pig did not learn his lesson. Let's hope, let's wish that he did learn his lesson. And that is it, my friends. Until next time.